if Frank, um, how does the change in dynamic in the backfield now without Le'Veon, how does that impact you? Um, I'm the same. When, when I first got here, you know, even when he was on the team, you know, I always thought, I always came to work every day like I was, you know, I was going to be the starter. Um, you know, um, now he's not here. I'm going to be um, you know, going somewhere else and, you know, great teammate, you know, um, talented, talented back. I had a good time with him, um, so um, wishing the best. And, you know, we, as a running back room, just we're going to try to keep getting better, you know. How? Did, what was your reaction when you heard that they had released him? Mm, I was surprised. You know, um, I thought he had a good game on Sunday. And, you, know, I don't, you know, I don't know what happened. But, like I said, I wish him the best. Um, I had a great time you know, competing with him when he was here. Hard work to do, you know, um, but you know now, you know, as a running back, running back, and running back room, the guys on way now, we just, you know, just got to get better, you know, and try to try to get a win as a team, you know. Do you have a? Uh, Adam said, at this stage of your career, you have like a, a number of touches in mind that, that works for you. Like, like what is that? Oh my, I just, whatever they want me to do. You know, I, I have a many touches they want to give me. I'm gonna try to take advantage of it. You know, um, I know we got young guys in the room who, you know, can help this team, um, P. Ryan, um, you know, but whenever I'm on the field and how many touches they want to give me, I'll be ready for it. How much have you tried to help uh, LaMichael uh, this season and now, you know, with him probably getting a little more of a role? Um, I think I think he'll get better. You know, I think he'll get better the um, more he out there, you know, each week. You know, I think he, the, the game will get slower and slower. Um, he worked it behind, he worked it behind off. A uh, very tough kid. Um, he loved the game of football. And I just think he got to be out there, you know. Um, that's the only way he'll be better and get you know used to the speed of the game. Frank, what's what's the key for this offense to get going and to be more productive? Just think we gotta make the plays when they're out there. You know, for everybody, whoever the number get called and the ball going your way, catch the ball. Um, when the running back get the ball and the goal line get a hole, we gotta hit the hole. So we just gotta be more consistent doing it. You know, um, and that's all we got to do. You know, when we play out there, we got to go make it. You know, we stay on the field. Do you maybe, Frank, see a little of yourself in P. Ryan in that neither – you didn't come in as, like, a first-round pick. You know, you were like the third, and, you know, he's a fourth. So uh, you have that in common. What, what – does that create a different mentality for a player when he's not a first round pick? Well, I, I told him how, how I felt when I, when I got drafted. Um, and I told him that's how he should look at it. You know, like, you got to always compete against the guys who came out in your class. You know, like I said, when I, when I got drafted, um, I was a sixth on that tip. I, I told him I still feel no way in order how to, how to, how to drop him. And, um, uh, and I always said, you know, the guys who went first round, you know, they're going to get a first opportunity, better opportunity than you. You know what I'm saying? But once you get your opportunity, you know, you got to take advantage of it. And like I said, when Ronnie Brown, Seth Benson, God, God bless his soul, um, Seth Benson, um, Cadillac Williams, and J.J. Arrington, and Eric Shelton, they went in front of me. I told myself, I, I want to be the best one in this class. And like I said, I, when I got a chance my second year to be the man, I took advantage of it. And I, and I told him, like, whoever with the first guy taking, how many bats went in front of you? You should want to be better than me from the second year on when you get the opportunity to be the man. And now he got a good opportunity to, to be out there more since I'm uh, way beyond out here. So, you know, he, year one, you know, he could make a step and next year go look at his tape on um, this year take a next year all season and, and do better. So um, he's in, in a good situation. You know, he out there, he, he, he out there working hard. 
you know, we just got to carry over to the game. Like how, how difficult is it for young running backs to learn pass protection? It seems it's, like it's, it's tough. It's tough, man. You got to understand. Respect. You know, um, you know, we coming from college, you don't really you just have scan everywhere. Um, things faster, you know, different looks, more looks in the NFL. So it's real tough. But I think Piron's doing a great job. He's a very bright kid. And our coach, Jim Bar do a great job making it more simple for you to understand it. Um, so, you know, he, but what, what, what I like about Piron, once he get it, once he, you know, he's very physical. So, and he's very strong. So once as long as, as long as he know what he's looking at, he'll be fine. He's tired of the session.